What the frick? An USB? Yes, I'm gonna start a USB just right now. And Super 557, I don't know what to do with it. But, yeah. I gonna play this one game. You already did this just before, but... I don't want to spoil that. And why my disc isn't spinning? Oh, finally. I have to do a shit now. It's close to die. Just, I just tell you. And, ooh, we got <laughs> the Crash Games in one. I reckon I'll play the third one. This is not the best. I prefer the second over the third, but... This game is pretty much overrated in my opinion. You know, this is... Let me skip the center, it's pretty loud. Not dark. I'm gonna skip this. You know this, okay. If you think this plane. Everyone wants me to play this game. I mean, the people who enjoyed my Crash games, and I did, I did in the past. But, I'm gonna move to do commentary videos. I don't know if this would, be, this would be fine for them, but... Yeah, I don't want to skip the, the, the intro, so I'm gonna watch it. We finally are in the warp room everyone should know about. Yes, first stuff. Let's get rid of the vibration. Second off, there's a mono because I'm wearing earphones. Third of all, I I put Jack and Daxon on hold actually because my game is a warp. So I decided to do a multi dog game. Obviously, it will be Jack Chew as the first one is not so popular. So, for this one. Since I've been extremely popular with what's called the new Crash games, I 
want to do an old one because it's the one that bitch. A couple of people watch me too. And it's usually best for me too. So if I doing it. If this doesn't get views, I ain't gonna quit, sorry. This is the first level, Thought Village. Is this Mario? No, it's not Mario, but it seems to be Mario. This is also Peach Castle, no? Crash, crash, crash. Why must you always muck in my mud? Oh look, I have a mask helping me too. We will find out which one is more powerful soon enough. Okay, um, first of all, before somebody asks, I'm not gonna get the relics just right now. This is gonna be 105%, but I do some separate video of, of for the relics, yes, because I don't feel like to do them. Right now, first I want to clear this the first warp room. And I'm too lazy to jump on on those crates which gives you just a phrase which I, n I, n I never die at this game. <laughs> Get to what it's saying, we're gonna die. Okay, this is a new feature of this game. The red machine. If you wait for too long, it's gonna be a crate. But it's gonna be an iron crate and you, and, you and you won't be able to get the gem anymore on this level, you know? Come on, something that. Again, there are a couple crates and they're, they're not so hard to get like in the first game. You can only get them with it. Trying to grab the uh, mask. Let me st let me check out if I'm recording. Yes. This is the first boss round. Extremely easy. The only way to die here is to jump o over the platform here. But seriously, it happened to me once. Now we're back here. All right, as I said before. These levels are oriented in... in medieval, and unlike Crash Mine 2 is most of the level where we're oriented, we're oriented in the jungle, there are no jungle levels. Something that Nuki Lock really loves. Jungle levels. It's like a jacket dice from any jungle levels there are. Or even Uncharted. But always when Nuki Lock starts a franchise, they put they, they put jungle levels at the first game, then when on the uh, sequels they take some jungle levels down and try to find some, something a bit different. And the first word level, so I keep saying word every single time. There are no words here, they're just the earth here. I got the gem right, yes. And that's the second level. It's underwater, okay. As you can expect, I really, really hate underwater levels in any game. Any game, I always hate them. In this, in this game, they're not so bad, but I still don't, I still don't really like them, you know. And if you have the aqua mask to to gold here, means you have two heads point left. Well, you will not be able to go to invincibility here because. You will not be able to find a couple masks here. Let's see if there's a code here to do that, but I, I think not. Checkpoint, yay. So if you have played for the thing with the Wrath of Cortex, which was a very, very horrible game, I must say, I, I will never be it, sorry. That was a, that was a complete shit. This is, this is made by Naughty Dog, so it's fine. Okay. Swimming in Jacket Axel was horrible. Well, the only game which I don't really hate in the levels is for Spire the Dragon. Well, it's Virtus Player 3, when you go swim. The first you cannot go swim. You have to shoot everything so you'll be able to fail. There's going to be an Eco here. Right, if you get hit by while you're on that on the vehicle there, I don't know what what it is. An overboard or something else. You will not lose your cocoa mask, you just lose the vehicle but You will not be able to get the, the gem of that. Sometimes. Oh shit. I, I always mess up this part here. I 
actually have an idea how to get rid of those crates. You should be able to, to jump over them. I don't know how, but I'm going to shoot them now. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I just had a very close call. And there's no red crate because I have the full aqua mask. That was close. And I got the gem. You see, there's also another underworld level switch. Underworld level just one for Transitory 2, which is a bitch. You know? Right now, we're going to the third level, which is the first time you can play with Coco. Okay, but you, you can actually play really with Coco, you, you have to take vehicles or in this case, a tiger. It's Pura. This is similar to the, to the Hulk level in Crash 1 and the Polar levels in Crash 2. I prefer to not. I can actually speed up, but I prefer to not. Unless it's necessary, I will show you. Oh, fail. That was unexpected. Right, we can destroy this with running. You probably have seen me playing Crash 3 for the first time on. I gave you the channel link, it's a Crash when you the competition. Who does faster wins? Exactly, okay. I want to do this. Ouch, and I fail! Okay, first fail in the game. This is not fail too many times here, I. Right. Already, I don't want to fail here. This is one of, of the easiest levels in the game. No, no, Skype, go away! There's actually someone who keeps the Skype calls for nothing, and I missed the crate. This is which which I suck at it. Right, but I did it! Now, get them all. It took me a while when I was a kid. It me crazy, that part. Now, sometimes I miss this part too. Sometimes, so for some reason, I don't get the crate there. I don't know why that happens, but it can happen sometimes. If you stop rushing like this. Now, let's have to not jump over this platform here, right? They give me two lives. And we should be down. Come on, grab the jam and let's go out. Got the crystal and the jam. Jeez, I, I'm so hungry now. <laughs> now I lost all my aqua aqua mask because of being stupid. So we get to do this without. This is Boneyard. We can't get the second gem here because it's not possible. We, we, we need to return here. Right. Just like in Crash 1 and 2, there, there's not. There aren't boulders, which. You need to run from it, but there's a dinosaur. It's way, way easier than it was in Crash 1 and 2, especially in Crash 2, but. Oh no, Crash 1 was too hard. That way. This one is way easier. But we, we have no welcome mask, so we're, we're gonna fail. You don't need to rush here. Just. Don't stop running, and it's fine. Probably the dinosaur can destroy all the crates, but the first risk for it. And we should get a checkpoint here. Mask, yay. Let me check uh, out because sometimes the game messes up and you, you, you don't get, you get the. It was called the TNT crate. You should. You should be, you're supposed, it, because it, it's supposed to explode with. 
the other one. Sometimes it doesn't do that if you're too far away sometimes. Ah, uh, there's a life there. I believe if you don't get that, you're probably gonna miss one crate. That sucks, you know? Three bonus round. Should be easy now. Alive, yes. Let's let your body slam here. Yes, and body slamming is coming back. But you're gonna power this up, you know. This is the first game we in Crash with where we get. We'll get the this. Like the double jump, this this first bullet slam and I'm gonna spoil them all. It's it used to run away fast from this, so we're probably gonna miss a crate and be me forced to do everything over again. I should try adding sidebars in this. Interesting. Like last time we we get chased by the dinosaur. Sometimes this part glitches up a bit. Not a big deal, actually. What's the point that I'm not, I'm not doing this on a PS3? Because sometimes the sound gets glitched out. But I also don't like it in the PS3, as the controls are much worse on the PS2. Just on the PS2. The jam? Yay! We're down! Boneyard. Not yet, there's still a gem there we need to get. Now, making waves. And level with Coco. This time we're running on, on hovercraft. If it is an hovercraft. This level is not so hard compared to what's come, but on this, this kind of levels, which I don't really like too much, the, the relics are Pretty damn annoying. Probably not gonna get the, the platinums here. No, 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 the platinums. You need, you need the golds too. Yeah, you, you, you need the. <laughs> I can't talk today. Just need to play. You need the, the golds to get 105 percent. Some reason, for some reason, they get lags on my PC. I don't know why. I, 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 I recorded for too long. Sometimes my PC get the catch program crashes and I need to restart. That was close. I think I'm touching the boats there. Can we create? Okay, I missed the one. I suck at this today. Now run on this. And I fail. Again. Just waiting for the gold to go away. If you touch him, you're gonna get hit by it. I think you still, you still, you still destroy the crate. Some sun glitch. For my catcher card. Now, get that. I missed the checkpoint. Why am I so rusty in the counters today of this level? Right, thank god I didn't miss them. Now, I don't want to miss anything. Let's make a run for it. Ouch, and they, and they get hit. Or this time. This this one? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. And we're done. Get the jank, come on. I watched that that lag I got before, no what the where the hell it comes from. Oh 
Every time we wait, making waves. Got to jam everything. Now that's the boss fight. You know, this boss, um, you can actually cheat on this one. They gonna tell you how. Right, and then we get to fight Tiny now. It's not so hard, but you can screw up easily if you don't do the trick I, I learned from somebody. Just stay here, and the lions will not bite you. You see that? Easy as hell. I don't want to do the normal way because I'm a pussy. Every boss here, I think, before an engine gets only three hit points. Like crush two, crush one. That engine was embryo crush one. And we beat tiny with cheating, and we got a new ability. This is the, the supercharge of the slam. Okay, and it's not better for just two fails. Well done, children. By defeating Tiny, you have unlocked the gate to the next time travel area. Go back to the center of this time twister and save your progress if you wish. From there, you will see that the gate to the second time travel area is now open. I know, now we finished the first warp room, we can unlock the second one. There are six warp, to warp room, well, five are here, while, while the sixth one you can unlock by getting relics, it's hidden. There are, are five levels which are pretty damn hard to do. So right, next time we're gonna do the second warp room. Bye!